as you know, conscious community influencer Brother Polite recently was charged and sentenced to seven years in prison for sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl. A Zoom court hearing was held where Brother Polite plead guilty, entering a plea deal where he will serve a seven-year prison sentence and 10 years of probation. Dr. Umar Johnson takes to his Instagram to react to Brother Polite prison sentence and much more. A very popular brother from the conscious community. We were not friends, we were not allies, we were not associates. I really didn't care for the man. But a very popular brother who was a member of the mainstream black consciousness community. He was based in New York. According to the reports that I'm receiving, according to the reports that I'm receiving, according to the reports that I am receiving, this brother, all the real ones, pled I'll see guilty. See y'all at the top. All you fake to ones. Child I'll hear echo from the bottom. Molestation, abuse, otherwise known as pedophilia and rape. I don't know the name of the exact charges, but he basically pled guilty to three charges that involve or and or are related to pedophilia, child rape, endangering the minor. There's three charges. I don't know what they are. You can do your own research. But allegedly, he took advantage of this 14 year old girl who was the child of the queen he was dating. Allegedly, I don't follow him. I don't follow mess. But I want to say this because there's a lot going around on social media. This conviction, this guilty plea involving such a prominent person within the conscious community taking sexual advantage of, an, of another woman's child who he was dating in what appears to be allegedly a very grotesque, aggressive and violent form of child sex rape and or molestation I want to say this I want to say this brothers and sisters I'm opening up a school Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy I'm going to be around your sons I'm going to be around your daughters you don't ever have to worry about Dr. Umar Ifatunde doing anything of that type because I believe that those who molest children are under some sort of a demonic possession. Demonic possession. Demonic possession. But I'll go a step further. I want y'all to know this right now. If you ever hear an allegation about me, Intercontinental Ifatunde, if you ever hear an allegation about me, the prince of Pan-Africanism, don't keep it to yourself. Let's have a public tribunal. That's how I do. Full transparency amongst the race. Full transparency amongst the race. No need for rumors. No need for gossip. Bring it on out and let's let the victim speak. If you ever hear an allegation about me, bring it to my face. Dr. Umar, we heard. My first question to you, where is the victim? How soon can we go live? Where is the victim? How soon can we go live? I want the victim to give a full accounting of the accusations that are being made. I don't want no secrets when it come to me. Now, everybody else can function how they want to function. But as the leader of black consciousness, as the biggest name in the world when it comes to black consciousness, if you ever hear some nonsense about me, bring the victim out. If the victim is now an adult, they can speak for themselves. If the victim is now an adult, they can speak for themselves. If the victim is still a minor, their parents can speak for them. If the victim is still a minor, their parents can speak for them. But like I said, if you ever hear something about King Kong, this doctor of clinical psychology, this certified school psychologist, this certified school principal, this political scientist, this Garveyite, this revolutionary Pan-Africanist, I don't want no secrets. Expose me. If you think you got any evidence of wrongdoing, bring the victim and let's do a full public tribunal on Facebook, on Instagram. 
TikTok, YouTube, MySpace, News, Radio, Coliseum. Bring it on out, brothers and sisters. Bring it on out. Because there's a lot going on right now because of this. My heart goes out to that mother and her daughter. My heart goes out to that mother and that daughter. My heart goes out to that mother and that daughter. But I want to say this to the conscious community. I want to say this to the conscious community. If we are really sincere about protecting the innocence of children, I'm going to keep it a hundred right now. I'm going to keep it a hundred right now at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. If we really, really want to keep it a buck. If we look at the history of black consciousness. If we look at the history of black consciousness, there have been men who have, in fact, had relations with children under the age of 18. Under the age of 18. Under the age of 18. And if you want to use the white man's limit of 16, if you want to use the white man's limit of 16, if you want to use the white man's age of sexual majority of 16, we've had a lot of leaders. I'm not going to say a lot. I know at least a handful. I know at least a handful of major black leaders who are still celebrated even now, who have given birth to some of our largest organizations, who have impregnated girls under the age of 16. I'm not talking rumor or allegation. I'm talking have proven to have had children with black girls under the age of 16. There are men who have had married girls under the age of 16. I'm not talking about fly by night leaders. I'm talking about leaders who have given birth to major black organizations. My point is, this is not a new thing. This is not a new thing. This is is not a new thing and you know what's sad and i'm not throwing dirt on nobody but you know what's sad if this brother is in fact guilty of the charges that were laid upon him and it appears that he is especially if there's six semen stains somebody said six semen stains were found on that 14 year old child six semen stains i don't know I don't follow mess. I'm just going off of the reports. But you know what? He will be able to reinvent himself in this black America. He will be able to reinvent himself in this black America. He will be able to reinvent himself. You know why? Because you have had men who have done similar things, who gave birth to some of our largest black movements. And those movements are still running strong. Those men are still considered great black leaders, although they molested underage black girls. So unfortunately, unfortunately, in this black America, he will post incarceration be able to reinvent himself. But I want to go somewhere else with this. I want to go somewhere else with this. I want to go somewhere else with this. This is your big brother, King Kong Consciousness, fresh back from black Europe, fresh, fresh back from my black European tour. Shout out to brother John, brother Baba Day, the black power Brussels team. It's Pan-Africanism a parish. Shout out to sister Edna, sister Giselle, the black power Netherlands queen. I can't wait to come to Germany. I can't wait to come to Switzerland. I can't wait to come to Ireland. I can't wait to come to black Italy. Oh yes, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes, but I'm going to go somewhere else with this. Eight years ago, eight years ago, a certain female tried to destroy the FDMG Academy fundraiser with false accusations that I was spending school money on her. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Eight years ago. And when that lion witch went around saying that I spent F. DMG money on her, an absolute fraudulent lie that almighty God and the ancestors can attest to. Every conscious Negro, every conscious Negro grabbed a microphone 
and interview this agent. Y'all remember, y'all remember back in 2015, y'all remember they thought they had the fuel to burn down the house of Ifa Tunde. You couldn't get on a conscious platform where this woman was not given a voice for trying to tear down a man building a school for our children. Y'all can't hear me on Instagram? All right, Instagram, I'm going to restart you. Instagram, I'm going to restart you. They playing with me. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. But when that woman, that co-intel ho, tried to destroy me, when that woman, that co-intel ho, tried to destroy me, everybody in the conscious community, everybody joined in on the political carnage and they tried to destroy the prince of pan-Africanism. They tried to destroy me, FDMG. They didn't give a damn about our children. I'm just making a comparison. I'm just making a comparison. I'm just making a comparison. But guess what? They tried to destroy me within minutes of her false allegations. They tried to destroy me within minutes of her false allegations. They tried to destroy me within minutes of her false allegations. Can I ask you a question? This brother was accused of these crimes two and a half years ago. Where is the same energy for this pedophile plead conviction? Where is the same energy for the pleading guilty to these pedophile charges that y'all had for Dr. Umar when that agent provocateur lied and said I was stealing FDMG money and spending it on her. Where the same energy at? Where the same energy at? I don't see y'all. Where are you conscious pimps and hoes? Where y'all at? When she accused me in 2015 of spending the money, y'all couldn't wait to jump on YouTube. Y'all couldn't wait to jump on the radio. Y'all couldn't wait to offer a podcast. This man was accused for two and a half years, pled guilty yesterday. I don't see y'all. I don't see y'all. Half of y'all who tried to condemn me when I was innocent ain't got nothing to say about this man who pled guilty. Half of you who tried to condemn me when I was innocent don't have nothing to say about this man who pled guilty. Half of you who condemned me when I was innocent of charges that I was stealing money, stealing money. Y'all tried to destroy me. I can't even see y'all now. Where y'all hiding? Where they at? Why y'all ain't got the same energy? This is way worse. This is way worse than stealing fundraiser money. This is way worse than stealing fundraiser money. Abusing a girl, lips busted, drugged up, doped up, six semen stains. Oh no. Where y'all at, conscious community? Y'all said y'all about holding people accountable. Y'all said y'all about holding people accountable. Y'all said y'all about holding people accountable. What's going on with my Instagram? Mark Zuckerberg. Y'all said y'all about holding people accountable. Y'all not about holding people accountable. Black America don't have no ethical standards no more. Black America don't have no moral foundation anymore. It's all about who you are. Who you are determines whether you're guilty. Who you are determines whether you'll be held accountable. Who you are determines whether or not the community is going to excommunicate you. Y'all acting like pedophilia in black power is a new thing when you got leaders of mass organizations who had children by girls under 16, married girls under 16. We need to take a long, hard look in the mirror. We need to take a long, hard look in the mirror. We need to take a long, hard look in the mirror. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. We trying to get ready for the grand opening. But when that woman, that co-intel hoe 
tried to destroy me. When that woman, that co intel ho, tried to destroy me, everybody in the conscious community, everybody joined in on the political carnage and they tried to destroy the prince of Pan-Africanism. They tried to destroy me, FDMG. They didn't give a damn about our children. I'm just making a comparison. I'm just making a comparison. I'm just making a comparison. But guess what? They tried to destroy me within minutes of her false allegations. They tried to destroy me within minutes of her false allegations. They tried to destroy me within minutes of her false allegations. Can I ask you a question? This brother was accused of these crimes two and a half years ago. Where is the same energy for this pedophile plead conviction? Where is the same energy for the pleading guilty to these pedophile charges that y'all had for Dr. Umar when that agent provocateur lied and said I was stealing FDMG money and spending it on her? Where the same energy at? Where the same energy at? I don't see y'all. Where are you conscious pimps and hoes? Where y'all at? When she accused me in 2015 of spending the money, y'all couldn't wait to jump on YouTube. Y'all couldn't wait to jump on the radio. Y'all couldn't wait to offer a podcast. This man was accused for two and a half years, pled guilty yesterday. I don't see y'all. I don't see y'all. Half of y'all who tried to condemn me when I was innocent ain't got nothing to say about this man who pled guilty. Half of you who tried to condemn me when I was innocent don't have nothing to say about this man who pled guilty. Half of you who condemned me when I was innocent of charges that I was stealing money, stealing money, y'all tried to destroy me. I can't even see y'all now. Where y'all hiding? Where they at? Why y'all ain't got the same energy? This is way worse. This is way worse than stealing fundraising money. This is way worse than stealing fundraising money. Abusing a girl, lips busted, drugged up, doped up, six semen stains. Oh no, where y'all at, conscious community? Y'all said y'all about holding people accountable. Y'all said y'all about holding people accountable. Y'all said... Y'all said y'all about holding people accountable. Y'all not about holding people accountable. Black America don't have no ethical standards no more. Black America don't have no moral foundation anymore. It's all about who you are. Who you are determines whether you're guilty. Who you are determines whether you'll be held accountable. Who you are determines whether or not the community is going to excommunicate you. Y'all acting like pedophilia in black power is a new thing when you got leaders of mass organizations who had children by girls under 16, married girls under 16. We need to take a long, hard look in the mirror. We need to take a long, hard look in the mirror. We need to take a long, hard look in the mirror. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. We trying to get ready for the grand opening. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. We trying to get ready for the grand opening. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. We trying to get ready for the grand opening. International Africans hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. International Africans hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG. FDMG Academy, international Africans, hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. This is your brother King Kong Consciousness. If you're going to practice selective morality, if you only going to hold people accountable who you don't like, but you refuse to acknowledge the wrongs of the people you like, you lower than dirt. You are not a part of the black liberation struggle. You are not a part of the black power struggle. You are 
an ethical hypocrite, a disgrace to the African race. Hold everybody accountable or hold nobody accountable. Protect black girls, protect black boys, protect black women, protect black elders, protect the black community. This is your brother, King Kong Consciousness. What's up, y'all? This is Master P. I just want to let y'all know, go to nightanddaynetmarket.com and get yourself some product. They're a black-owned company. They got everything from T-shirts to hoodies to shoes to jewelry to hair care products. Subscribe to their YouTube channel, Night and Day Network, with the Curry Gang, and check them out now. You heard? Salute.